I'm a mom of four boys, two of whom are deaf blind due to Usher syndrome. I'm also a special education researcher in the field working with uh, families who are deaf blind. For families like mine, the first few weeks of remote learning were incredibly difficult. Not only was I juggling multiple priorities for our family and trying to work from home while trying to support my children while they were remote learning, I was also worried about whether or not my son was going to be able to receive his IEP services virtually and if he was going to be able to access the curriculum remotely. So what became really incredibly important, as it is always, is the flexibility and problem solving of the IEP team. So for children who are deaf blind, that's a, they are a heterogeneous population. It's not a one size fits all and the individualized nature of an IEP is incredibly important. And so the uh, flexibility and uh, creativity of our IEP team and uh, our ability to work together became incredibly important. We needed to find ways to make sure that he was going to feel supported during this time. And, you know, what that looks like for us is, you know, he's able to receive all of the services that he normally would receive. They just might look differently. So he's able to, he's learning Braille at this time. And that's something we didn't have time for when we were in an in-person setting. He's able to work on items related to the expanded core curriculum, uh, career planning, uh, working on uh, skills related to independence and uh, you know what it looks like to be out in the community. Those are things that we just didn't have time for before. And you know, and I asked my son about his experiences. He actually told me that he, in in many ways, feels like he's more supported during this remote learning time than he was when he was in person. And I think that that speaks to the flexibility and the collaboration of our IEP team, and the ability to think outside the box. So I think it comes down to these positive results for my son come down to a few things. One, the collaboration among the IEP team, the family support that the IEP team is providing, those check-ins both with my son and our family, the, st the strong communication between all of the IEP team in order to make this work, and the team is taking time to focus on not just the academics, but the social emotional needs of my son. They're checking in with him on a regular basis, just asking how he's doing and if there's any barriers to his learning. And then I'm also able to see firsthand what he's struggling with, and um, and I'm able to share that with the team. And I think that's going to make me a better advocate as we go in to uh, the next season, when you know, whether or not that's fall or whenever we go back in person. I think we're going to be able to use that knowledge to be able to continue to be flexible and approach um, his learning needs in a collaborative way.